Hello my friends, the last night Russia lost 600 mobilized soldiers in Makivka city. Let's go for it. Makivka is located very close to Donetsk. It's the industrial part of Donbass. As you can see, it's the Russian-controlled territory, or it's better to say self-proclaimed republic, DPR, Donetsk People's Republic. The big building over there used to exist until the last night and I think it was the hotel or maybe some sort of the university building, hard to identify for now. But Russia used it as the main base for the mobilized soldiers in that particular area and that is what happened to that building, it's no more. And that's the video from the place so you can see that the building is totally devastated. Probably Hammer's rocket artillery systems were used for that but it was some sort of the single big explosion so in that case i think tochka u was used the tochka u is the rocket artillery system designed by soviet union and still in ukrainian armed forces but unfortunately we don't have lots of those systems and rockets for them the explosion happened just on the new year and some of the locals were watching the video address of vladimir putin to the nation let's uh, see the video it's not a good quality but anyways <laughs> yes, it's scary, but luckily no civilian or residential buildings were damaged, just the Russian base. And local Telegram channels confirmed that case. And by the way, my friends, I have my own Telegram channel. It's in the video description. So please subscribe for me over there because there I upload more information and some of the content that I cannot show you on YouTube. The link is in description. Go for it. All right, probably I found the information and I'll try to show you the particular building on the map. It was some sort of the college. And let's uh, Google Kremliska Street in Markivka. And it's been reported that uh, that building was on that street. Yes, the intersection between Chugivska and Kremliska street. Uh, this is the building. Unfortunately, I cannot put our guy over here. There were no any Google cars uh, driving across this building. So for sure, it was this big structure that is now no more. As you can see, Makivka is not far away from the front lines. Front line is somewhere over here near to Wodene. And that means that Ukraine might have used any kind of artillery systems including HIMARS. Actually last night was very tough for Ukraine and I must say for Russia also because Ukraine was able to fire the drones onto Russian territory hitting even St. Petersburg. But Ukraine doesn't target the civilian infrastructure or civilian buildings. Our aim are the Russian military bases, airplanes and everything connected to the military. So it was the Ukrainian response on previous Russian attacks that happened early that day. And after Ukrainian attack, Russia launched many more Shahid drones to target Ukrainian civilian infrastructure. But with no major success, most of the stations were secured by those guys who, as you can see, use very powerful lights, machine guns, and everything to destroy Shahid drones. Also, Gepard system is used for that. This video was filmed inside the Gepard system, I think, and you can see some of the dots and our operator just fixed them. And here we have some of the tools and clearly it's German language. So Maske, uh, Links, Waffe, Rechts. So I think it's the distance uh, or the speed below here. And that's the height of the target. And here we have some sort of the pad below with the map. So topographic map. And I'll put the sound on just for you to hear. <laughs> So for sure, uh, for sure, it's the Gepard system because you can see many rounds are flying to reach the target. The NATO General Secretary Stoltenberg said that we should be ready for the long-term war and no matter on the Russian losses, they still want to reach their goal in Ukraine by basically taking the country under their control. And I don't really know how Russia can do it. Well, there are always unexpected things that might happen, but I can state that Ukraine never gonna lose at least our people will never accept russian ruling in ukraine and what russians may do this year they may announce the war state and mobilize many more soldiers but they don't have the resource to equip those soldiers with so they need to mobilize their economy they need to put it on a war rails but there are no any signs for them to do so and there's the forecast from the director of ukrainian intelligence budanov he said that 
that Russia is in a critical situation with weaponry and it's gonna be until March. What will happen after March? I don't know. Russia needs to produce rockets to attack Ukraine again and that may take one and a half up to two months, so long time compared to their previous attacks. From 5th of January, Russian Federation is getting ready to close the borders for the exit for the Russian men up to 55 years old, and that includes with Belarus or Belarus. Riots in Russia is an unreal scenario and around 70% of the Russian people still support this war. And yes, he confirms that the Bakhmut is totally destroyed by the Russian forces. It's the catastrophe out there. The Kiev police arrested uh, the man and he was launching fireworks at the new year. According to Ukrainian law, it's forbidden in the current conditions, conditions of war. That's why many people were just scared of the fireworks and he may get around five years in prison. And actually, it was quite uncomfortable for me too because, um, yes, there were lots of the fireworks works and explosions around my daughter was really scared and and still we have that fear of explosions the last night our air defense was very effective we shut down 45 of the drones all of them were shut down in the skies i think just to one hit some sort of the target and it was not connected to the electrical power supply and no one was heard from the information i know till the morning time but now russia conducts one more attack using the shahid drones the Baikar company that produces Bayraktars is on the final testing process of their Akinchi drone and there was the information in media resources that Ukraine signed up the contracts for those drones so we expect them to be delivered to Ukrainian army as well. Those are much more sophisticated as you can see two engines drones and they may carry the variety of bombs and rockets that are mainly used for the fighter jets in the army of the NATO countries. So they may perform the similar tasks with with fighter jets but they're very hard to identify and cost less and that's the greetings from our air forces uh, the santa pilot he put the beard on the oxygen mask looks fantastic actually and they fire rockets <laughs> awesome media ho 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 russians here are your presents about the front lines, no changes since the last video, my friends. Anyways, I'm going to keep you updated on the situation in Ukraine. If you want to support this channel, press the like button, please. It helps me a lot. If you want to support me financially, there are some of the links in the video description. As usual, Patreon, PayPal and Donatello are available. You may use any kind of those to support me. And thank you so much for your help. My friends, I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.